welcome back to the final episode of CCTV at Chemcon Europe 2018 with today an interview on microplastics, the final recommendations for your time in Budapest from our local reporter Tibor and first rainbow tongue with a minor wrap of the Asia Pacific sessions. In this morning session we have speakers from industry and authority of China, Japan, Thailand, Malaysia and we covered all those jurisdictions of Southeast of Asia Pacific. And uh, we have very important guidance revision updates of China and Malaysia. I hope the audience did like and, uh, yeah, and got information they need. I'm really glad to say that uh, Chemcon provided a perfect opportunity for speakers from both industry as well as governments to share their perspectives. Asia Pacific has a most, one of the very dynamic economies as well as a very dynamic regulatory um, environment and a lot of changes and it's a great opportunity to have that or sharing with all the chemical industry. Time to connect to Tibor. Tibor, if people have limited time to explore Budapest, what would you recommend them to do? I would take a boat tour. It's an unforgettable experience to go in the middle of the Danube River and see both sides of the city, Buda and Pest. you can see Budapest day and night. Beautiful and exceptionally romantic. From the water of the Danube to the plastic soup in today's interview on microplastics. Currently, the European Commission takes a closer look into the intentional uses of microplastic particles in products and the risk they pose to human health and the environment. Something I will discuss with Cristina de Avila, head of the Sustainable Chemicals Unit at DG Environment. Cristina, what is the definition of microplastics? This is an important question because there is not a scientifically agreed or a standard definition of, uh, of microplastics, which makes it very difficult for us to compare the data. And uh, what ECA is, uh, is using as a reference is that uh, microplastic is a polymer containing particle, solid or semi-solid, with a size of 5 millimeters or less in any of the dimensions. The restriction will probably um, consider whether an intentional use of a microplastic contributes to human health or environmental concern and to what extent. Which risk-based screening criteria for identifying uses are considered? We've uh, chosen to go through restrictions under it, which is a very flexible risk management tool. So it allows us to go and address all the uses, taking into account uh, the risk associated with the uses, but also the socioeconomic considerations. The way we have approached it in this, uh, in this uh, case is we will go for all possible uses. We start with a very wide scope of all possible uses. With this, we will be able to decide at the end which are the uses that are going to be banned, those for which there are alternatives, those for which there is not costly to, 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 to substitute um, or do not provide uh, socioeconomic benefits. Um, then we will be able to have, for example, longer transitional periods for uses where the alternatives are not yet available but we can see them coming or when it might be a bit more costly for a time being to, to substitute. And finally even consider derogations for uses where there are absolutely no alternatives nor are they in the, in the, in the forecoming future and uh, where the socioeconomic benefits uh, clearly uh, outweigh uh, the, the risk and the uses. Please watch the complete interview on our website and YouTube channel. Today's statement is related to chemical safety regulation in the Eurasian Economic Union. With us in our studio, Natalia of the CIS Center. Natalia, welcome. Thank you, Chief. Natalia, can you remind me again which countries form the Eurasian Economic Union? There are five member states, Armenia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Russia. What is their current focus in relation to chemical safety regulation? 
Currently, countries are working together on the final draft of second-tier document to technical regulation. They are clarifying the rules uh, of notification for new substances, as well as rules how to create and maintain the register of substances and mixture of the Union. The industry also participated in drafting the documents. In the process, they are taking into account important things like uh, alternative to animal testing and step-by-step -step approach for data submission. And your statement is? Join Eurasian Economic Union efforts and industry involvement create practical and effective rules in the field of chemical safety. Let us know what your thoughts are. Natalia, thank you very much for being with us this week. Chemical control legislation can be a puzzle. This brings me to our final mural. Rubik's Cube. There are actually more artists that have been inspired by the invention of Mr. Rubik, a professor from Budapest. Mr. Rubik wanted to help his students to understand three-dimensional problems. His solution? The Rubik's Cube. Already a global success for more than 40 years, developed by Mr. Rubik, a true genius. And now it's time to say farewell to our genius, the talented Tibor. Tibor, we just showed the audience the Rubik's Cube. Could you pick a few Hungarians from the honor gallery in the ballroom of the hotel and explain what their contribution was? It is quite difficult. It's so many famous Hungarians. But if I have to make a selection or choose, I certainly will choose Franz Liszt, the famous uh, pianist and composer, or Béla Bartók, who occasionally turned this beautiful ballroom into a concert hall. From Corinthia Grand Hotel Royal Budapest, this was Tibor for CCTV. Thank you, Tibor. You deserve a picture in the Honor Gallery as well. Now it's time for the focus of the day. Today we start with an all-time favorite, GHS. Before putting our spotlight on Brazil, followed by a variety of important issues for the chemical industry, like rows, microplastics, nanomaterials, biocides and cosmetics. And we'll finish today with Switzerland, the Eurasian Economic Union, India, the Middle East and Turkey. Thank you for watching, we hope you liked it and we look forward to seeing you in June in Korea.